Hello YouTube! For this video we're going to work on finding the value of sine, cosine, and tangent when one side of our right triangle is missing. So chances are you may have come across a few instances where you need to find the value of sine, cosine, and tangent but you can't form all of your ratios because a single side is missing. This actually isn't too much of a problem as long as you remember that the Pythagorean theorem can give you information about all the sides in a right triangle. Here's what that is uh, for a quick review. If you have a right triangle, you can take the legs of the right triangle, let's call them A and B, square them, add them together, and it will equal the hypotenuse of the right triangle squared. Or more commonly, people remember A squared plus B squared equals C squared, where the A and B are the legs of the right triangle. So as we get into the examples, watch how this plays a huge part on finding that missing side. Let's get started. In my first example, I have a right triangle, and I know that one leg is 8, and the hypotenuse is 17, but I'm missing that uh, other leg. So let's go ahead and call that missing leg y, and build our Pythagorean theorem so we can go ahead and find it. So I'm thinking 8 squared plus y squared equals 17 squared. Now, as soon as we solve this for y, we'll have all the values we need for, the, for our trigonometric functions. Let's see, 8 squared is 64, uh, y squared, 17 squared is 289. Uh, we're going to subtract 64 from both sides, so y squared equals 225. Take the square root of both sides. Uh, looks like I have that y is equal to 15. So there's our missing side, y equals 15. Now that we have all of our sides, now we can form those ratios. Um, of course, just making sure we keep focused on what angle we're actually talking about. So for sine of theta, we're talking about the opposite over the hypotenuse. We'll get 15 over 17. Cosine, we have the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So there's 8 over 17. And lastly, we have tangent, the opposite over the adjacent, 15 over 8. Now, let's go ahead and do this one more time just to make sure we have this process down. So here's another nice right triangle. I know that one leg is 7, the other one, there's the missing one, uh, and my hyp hypotenuse is 10. So let's call that missing side x and put everything into that Pythagorean theorem. So x squared plus 7 squared equals our hypotenuse 10 squared. Okay, now let's go ahead and solve this thing for x. So we need to multiply the 7 by itself, so that will give us 49. 10 squared is 100. Subtracting a 49 from both sides, that will give us 51. Uh, and lastly, let's go ahead and square root both sides, square root of 51. Now, unfortunately, that doesn't simplify, and, and sometimes it doesn't feel good to get an answer like that, but it's a perfectly good answer, so that is our other side, square root of 51. All right, we're in a good spot now that we can form the rest of our trigonometric ratios. Uh, keep in mind that for this example, theta is actually in this upper corner. So watch how that affects the adjacent and the opposite sides. So sine of theta will be my opposite over the hypotenuse. So square root of 51 all over 10. Cosine is my adjacent all over hypotenuse. So 7 over 10. And lastly, we need our tangent, which is opposite over adjacent. So square root of 51 all over 7. All right. So even if you do have a missing side in a right triangle, you can use that Pythagorean theorem to get your foot in the door and find all of your ratios. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit MySecretMathTutor.com.